Thank you, Toastmaster, and welcome guests. This evening's speech is about my journey in building a social profile from scratch. Where will you find me on my lofty heights of my platform? You'll find me on Instagram, LinkedIn, Facebook, YouTube, and what was formerly known as Twitter. However, where do I start? Why did I end up with so many profiles? You'll be surprised. I would like to take you on a journey where you will find my why for building social profiles, my tips or the building blocks, shall we say, of the posts. And then I would like to share a couple of personal learnings in my journey of uh, building a social profile. So rewind back. So five and a half years ago, you would not see me on any social platform. I left no digital footprints. Why I started building a profile was because in 2018, I co-founded a business, Wheeler and Lie Chartered Surveyors, and we realized that people no longer leafed through yellow pages. It was all about scrolling and having digital visibility. So that's why before we set up our business, I put steps in to build our foundation of having a digital presence. So Wheeler and I chartered surveyors, appeared on various platforms. Myself, I created profiles on LinkedIn and Facebook and Instagram, and slowly started building up a presence. And whilst I was doing the posts, I found that there were key pillars that I found quite useful and I'd like to share three of those. Firstly, content is very important. So what you decide to post will depend on what your aim or purpose is, whether it's business, life, hobbies, or something to impart or educate people. So content can be a variety of things, whether it's could be written, pictures, video, or mixture on the various platforms. Next would be consistency. So not just posting once every blue moon, but perhaps at least once a week, twice a week, it's not a frequency, it's the consistency. So show up routinely for the people who might be interested in what you post so that they're not, they're not wondering where you are and they build up trust and reliability that way. And thirdly, it's about conversation. When you talk to people, they get to know you. So it's about engaging. When you put a comment, someone else will reply. And it's always good to acknowledge them. Similarly, if you comment on someone else's post, you're building a relationship. And that brings together a sense of trust and getting to know someone and engaging with them. It's not a one-way relationship when it comes to social media. So those are my three pillars that I'd quickly learnt along this now five and a half year journey. And when I'm looking back to where I started, I certainly learnt two things that have helped me reflect on the reasons for building social media presence and potentially pitfalls that I would hope people would avoid. So firstly, what I've learnt is to guard your time because it can consume your day from just doing one thing, you get sucked into the doom scroll. So it's, just be mindful that you're not spending too much time on social media. It's not the be all and end all. 
And certainly you don't have to be uh, doing it all yourself either. You can delegate to other people if you're in a business. I certainly learned that I can't do everything by myself. And my second learning links to the time factor is it's okay not to be on all the platforms. You quickly learn, hope, well, I quickly learn that not all the platforms suited the business and not all platforms suited me personally. I reposted on what was formerly Twitter and now X. And to be honest, six years on, I still don't really understand it. But I, my favorite platform is LinkedIn. And that works well for me as a person, as a business owner. And I like to share on there, not just business posts, but inspirational, insightful experiences that I'd like to share. For example, I share my Toastmasters journey on there. So in, in summary, in order to build a foundation, you, got, you have to start from scratch and then using the three C's of consistency, conversation and content to build up the social media presence. And so I like to share with you, you can find me on these platforms, but in my journey from five and a half years ago to three years ago, I couldn't have imagined creating videos, let alone recording all of my most of my Toastmasters journey, but you'll find me on YouTube where I'm documenting my Toastmasters journey. And I'd like to leave you with one takeaway, which hopefully you it will resonate is to be kind. To be kind to yourself because you are sometimes your own worst critic and social media just captures just one moment in time and just be kind to yourself and be kind to others as you never know what's happening behind their screen. Their life experiences can be dramatically different from what you see on, on a social media post. Thank you very much for listening. Thank you, Toastmaster. Good evening, Toastmasters, and welcome guests. This evening, I'd like to share with you my social media profile building journey. Where am I at the moment? On my lofty heights. I wouldn't say I was queen of social media, but certainly on my platform or on platforms include Instagram, LinkedIn, Facebook, and YouTube. Why am I on so many platforms? You might be wondering. So here's why I'm here to share with you my why, three tips I've learned on the way, as well as some lessons learned whilst building social media, and Finally, I'd like to sh leave you with at least one takeaway. My why would mean rewinding back. Three years ago, you would not have found me on YouTube. Six years ago, I left no digital footprint. I was not on social media. The reason why I created social profiles was because in 2018, I co-founded a business, Wheeler and I, Chartered Surveyors. Um, what I am in my day job is a commercial property surveyor. What I'm not was a social media marketer. But I realized people no longer looked up businesses on the yellow pages. It was very much a digital profile with scrolling and social media being pivotal in getting seen and attracting clients. So we had to start building. 
our foundations was to create YouTube platforms for Wheeler and I charter surveyors. And then slowly building up the content, building up our presence. So the three things I'd like to share in our journey was content, consistency, and conversation. So content is what you choose to post. That's whether that's visual in terms of videos or photos pictures or words so that you create something interesting and meaningful for your audience and for our business this was about commercial property how we can help people and what we do which might involve giving people advice and tips sharing useful places to go to find information and generally giving people an insight into our commercial property world so that was content and it could be different for different people and purposes. So if you have a personal page, content would be whatever you'd like to post personally. If it was a hobby, people post about, you know, their painting, their art, and things like that. And finally, next would be consistency. So for us, it was about building a reliability and being consistent in what we did. There's no point posting something once and leaving it for a month or thinking, oh, why is nothing happening? Because I've only done something here and there, not quite being reliable enough. The consistency is important to build reliability and trustworthiness. And finally, about conversation. It's not a one-way street. Social media involves engaging with your audience, so that you get comments, you reply, you comment on somebody else's posts, and they reply, and it's about building rapport and a relationship so that people can come to you, know you for being reliable and genuine and trustworthy. But whilst we're building our digital presence, I've I learned two things, and I'd like to share these with you now. Firstly, is to guard your time because I quickly found I was, it was consuming. I felt I had to be constantly on social media, constantly commenting daily, and that was pretty tiring and it was pretty near burnout. And so I stepped back a bit, reflected, and realized that consistency ne didn't necessarily mean constancy, constantly. And so it's okay not to be on every day. Social media shouldn't become your life. My second learning was related in that you don't have to be on all the platforms. Just pick ones that will suit you or suit your, your, your why or your business. Because trying to be everywhere all at once is just unnecessary and exhausting. So in summary, from my journey of building social media presence, from business purposes to actually enlarging that to my the YouTube channel, which is actually regarding Toastmasters and my journey into public speaking. It's a summary that's sharing my tips the pitfalls and I'd like to leave you one takeaway from the final four echoing the words of Jerry Springer be kind be kind to others when you see something on social media it's just one captured moment you never know what's happening behind that post or behind that screen and finally be kind to yourself because sometimes you are your own worst critics thank you